Guys, thanks for coming in for a video today. I thought I'd do one really quick before I get my day started. I wanted to talk to you guys about vintage wrapping paper and how well they do on Etsy and other forms. Um, they um, they really do well. They sell for an average of about $10 a sheet like this. And I think I've talked to you about it in a recent haul um, as well as mentioning that I once was lucky enough to find two rolls of Peter Max wrapping paper that sold for over $80 and there was a bidding war going on as far as the fact that I had two separate listings for them because I had two rolls and one buyer wanted, um, one bidder wanted me to stop the other auction and sell her that one as well and actually she offered me more but for that but I didn't want to compromise my um, my um, account and she emailed me and you know eat as as well as the fact that eBay really tracks your emails and they know what you communicate and it's against policy, so no, I didn't do that. But yeah, keep your eye out for Vintage Wrap. It does really well. I did a little thrifting last night and I found some awesome things. Most of them are in the trunk and that's why I was kind of, I was so tired, I didn't even want to pull things out of the trunk last night. I was thinking of maybe doing another junk in the trunk um, haul, but and I may, but I wanted to pull this paper out before it got wrinkled. And I got all this package for $1.91. And I'm already starting to list some on eBay and Etsy. Um, here's two sheets of one that's really pretty. It's a Christmas wrap and it's birdhouses. And it's just got the prettiest motif, uh, the little birdhouses. I love that. And then I thought this was really interesting. This has sort of a cityscape. And you know, people also use this for decoupage, for journaling. Um, for all of those crafty things. So people are always looking out for interesting tissue and napkins even are used for decoupage and journaling and such. So that's why so when I saw this, I, I grabbed it and it was buried under a sea of Christmas stuff. And then this is such a pretty one. This is some uh, pets right there, a dog and a cat. Isn't that pretty? And then you can also see the um, snowflakes and stars, gold stars, blue snowflakes. Then I got these packages of tags. These are also vintage. And oh, this one's so pretty. This one has pets as well, just little seals. I'm just gonna use these on my cards this year, but this is what was in there. And some more little vintage tags. And you can tell by the pricing and things that they're from an earlier time. They do have their codes, and I think these came into play at early 80s, so they're not like 60s or anything, but they're still vintage. And there's a few in here that do look like they're from the 60s. Oh, here's the little card tags that uh, match the, uh, the birdhouses. And then here's some birthday wrap. Oh, and I also got a whole bunch of these. I think these fell out of there. But they're all kinds uh, with Santas and poinsettias and whatnot. All right, then this one is Happy Birthday. This is a Hallmark one. And then there's one here that's completely sealed. Very pretty teal color as well oh, and I love this one this would be a beautiful decoupage piece this is a hallmark now even though some of these may not be vintage as far as Etsy stipulation they can still be sold as uh, crafts and uh, tools because they can be used for journaling and such here's a beautiful vintage with a dog and a cat and a little stocking as well there I love it's just a uh, a little fragment but there's a little bit more in here of this one it's got some bows and sort of an all occasion one there here's a little remnant of it right in there as well and like I said these do really well you can start them at about 10 some have even sold when you put them on Etsy of course they're not bidding so I start mine at about nine or ten dollars some even fourteen dollars depending on how many sheets I have here's a really pretty one this is an all occasion spring motif with flowers and seeds and then this one says happy birthday here's another one from uh, the spring so there's two sheets of that one and some more florals here love the allocation you know I am a total this is why I found the Peter Max I didn't really think about selling it when I first got it but then I thought oh, I'm gonna throw it up on eBay and see what happens but I've always loved to have wrapping paper. I do not like the bags. I don't use them unless I absolutely am desperate and have not had time. But I love wrapping up a gift with bows and just all kinds of flourishes. Here's a really pretty blue one, sort of a denim 
color with some um, scrolls. And then oh, here's another beautiful one. This one's actually from the World um, Wildlife Federation. It's got the little panda logo in the back and it's got all kinds of interesting trivia on the animals. And this one has some birds perching on um, twigs and, and branches rather. Isn't that pretty? I love that one. This one's uh, it's also sort of a winter scene, really pretty. Towards the Christmas one. Season's greetings with the little birds and the cardinals there. Isn't that pretty? Some more vintage tags with animals. Here is um, birthday. This is so cute. The animals are really, really a theme here in this pack that I got. And here's a bag that I'll probably use for Kino or something. Once in a while I do, you know, the, the gift bags. And I don't know how well with the gift bags, so I haven't really looked into it. If you guys know, let me know. I'm sure these would be great on journal pages as well. Look how pretty those pictures are. But I just haven't checked it out myself. Here's some pretty tags that go, um, is this from the wildlife? No, but it kind of matches the wildlife. But the wildlife one did have its own matching um, name tags. Here's another kitty bag. And then here's a beautiful piece of vintage paper. And you can really tell these are the better ones because, what does this say? This is actually from World Market or what? What does this say? Shamrock. Now this is, the brand is Shamrock. But it's super thick. This is a lovely sheet. And I really love these gold colors and all of that. So anyway, guys, I thought you might enjoy seeing my gift wrap haul that I got in a bag for $1.91 last night at uh, Family Thrift. And I'm going to bring you the rest of the haul probably directly from the trunk as I undo <laughs> unload it because it's just huge. And that way I can start putting things up in their proper places and maybe even listing as I go along as I'm doing with these during my lunch break later. That's what I'm going to probably be doing. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming. Please come back again real soon, okay? Bye.